Tamara Jenkins recently played the part of woman in Stephen Sondheim's Marry Me a Little at the Harbor Lights Theatre Company's one-year anniversary performance. Tamara is also a 25-year member of the Soka Gakkai, the Buddhist lay organization, which derives from 13th century Buddhist practice, uh, 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 the teachings of Nichiren. But I would Tamara. give her the same advice that I've given other young people who have asked me for advice um, about a career in the theater, and that is if you can imagine yourself being happy doing anything else, you should do that because it's, it's such a difficult life and lifestyle, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's very up and down. Mm -hmm. The realities of life is that it's very cyclical, it's up and down, and, uh, and I think that for me personally, my Buddhist practice has helped me in all those areas of my life um, as I'm going up and down, things are going up and down. It's really made a big difference mm -hmm. for me. And we're about to produce a huge show. Mm -hmm. um, for us it's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, the largest cast we have had up until this point is six people. Mm -hmm. This is The Music Man. We're going to produce The okay. Music Man. I want to know Man. all about yes. the show. Tell me yes, about yes, yes. The Music Man. We are producing The Music Man by Meredith Wilson, which is really a perennial classic. It's a, it's a favorite of a lot of people. Um, it's a story about uh, a traveling salesman who's really a con man who goes in to pull a con on a, on a small town in Iowa. And we have uh, four uh, Broadway veterans that are really anchoring the cast, mm -hmm. including a Tony-nominated gentleman by the name of Larry Marshall, mm -hmm. and a woman by the name of per Patty Mariano. So let me get that right, Patty Mariano. Patty was in the original production of The Music Man starring Robert Preston at age 11. I guess the question is, she, she had suffering and loss in her life. How did she deal with it? And from the, your perspective as a Buddhist, how do people d cope with loss and sadness and things like that? Well, I, I think I can only speak for myself personally, um, but my Buddhist practice has made a huge difference in dealing with loss. And yes, struggle is a reality of life, and that is part of the teachings of Buddhism. Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. A little confusing, but mm -hmm. you, can, um, you can still be living a rewarding life in the middle of your struggles. Mm -hmm. um, and you can find satisfaction amidst your struggles. That's when people make those terrible decisions about ending their life and so forth. Yeah. They, don't, they can't wait that extra minute or hour for things to change. Yes, everything, change, right? everything things, changes. Things change. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> That's also one of the tenets of Buddhism, you know, that life is continuously changing. Mm -hmm. And um, you're either progressing or you're regressing. Yeah. You have Do you to see a connection between the high stakes communication of performance in your Buddhist practice? Oh yes, absolutely. In, in what way? Well, I think because of my Buddhist practice, I've been able to open myself up a lot more. I'm, what it means to break through. You know, I wanted to speak with a Buddhist for the very same reason. How do we get beyond our limitations and become the person that we were meant to be? I mean, that's kind of my understanding of what, you know, what, what breaking, breaking through is.